the Thailand Thailand Rob I wanted to take you on a nice bright beautiful adventurous day but cannot oh well it stopped raining it's been raining for like 12 straight hours so we got to go quickly to get somewhere so I can do whatever it is that we're gonna do I don't know if you could see the the mist above the a waves, but if you can see the mist above the waves, it looks pretty neat. And if not, you won't be seeing this because I won't put it on, right? We are here at the Sweet Dreams restaurant. You can Google it. There's a restaurant upstairs and down here. Pretty nice place here. Fish, 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 fly, 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 fly. <laughs> fish, fly. So some people were asking me questions about money. I'm just going to give over a few things about the money. So these are the main bills here in Thailand. You have the 20 baht, the 50 baht, the 100, 100 baht, 500 baht, excuse me, 500 baht, and the wonderful 1,000 baht. Before I forget anything else in this vlog, before, remember this while my money's blowing away. If you go out at night, if you go out and it has the dim lights, like the colorful lights at restaurants and stuff, be very, very careful of the 100 baht and the 1000 baht. As you can see, the 1000 baht slightly bigger, but in the colors at night, they almost look identical. So if you give them this and you meant to give them this, oops, just remember that part. The other thing that people were saying, they were like, should I get my money in my, should I exchange the money in my country and then come to Thailand? If you want to exchange in your country, you can. You're probably not gonna get the best rate. I, all the advice I ever read up on said, exchange it when you get here. Now, having said that, if you come into the country and you have your own currency, I highly recommend that you only exchange a low amount at the airport upon arrival. Just get what you need to get your taxi cab or get where you're going to go. And then once you get where you're going to go, you're gonna see many banks and or exchange places. If you go to an exchange place, if you can find in Bangkok, if you see uh, Super Rich, I highly recommend them. They have really good rates. Here in Kamala, I have found that the local bank, one of the local banks, I, there's many banks, I don't remember the name of it, has a better rate than the exchange tables on the road. You would think that makes sense, but sometimes the banks have bad rates too. I just walked and looked at one and walked and looked at the other and I was getting half a pot more per dollar just by going to the bank and doing the exchange rather than the, uh, I think it was a Western Union exchange that I went up here. So just look at a couple of them. Do you need to bring a lot of money over here? No, I do. I will say this though. If you bring the cash, the exchange rate is not too bad it's a pretty good exchange rate if you come over here and then you're pulling your money straight out of the ATM what you're going to get is the ATMs generally charge 200 baht for the transaction alone and then there's another service fee probably associated with your bank and or here so it usually ends up costing more per per exchange to do it to do it at the ATM rather than if I just had brought cash and went to the bank and got the exchange there. Someone was asking, is the ATM safe? And, and they're, they're completely safe. Uh, never had a problem with them. The only thing you have to remember here is the card comes out last. Don't leave your card in the ATM and walk away like 
most people do and did and that's why they changed them in America where they come out first so and they beep and yell at you here they come out last do do you carry your wallet around here I don't recommend carrying your wallet around and the only reason is there's only been one kind of uh, if you want to say something that could be unsafe or something it's known that if you go into some of the busier sections that might have some type of people that there are pickpockets i have not encountered any kind of issue like that but i don't really frequent the areas that i've been told have that happen like in um patong there's some areas that you could run into a group of people that might be very clever at pickpocketing or patia but for bangkok i guess but i i keep my nose is clean as possible. I try to avoid any place like that and I also walk very fast, but I don't carry my wallet. I just carry enough cash to get me through that night. Yeah, that's what I do. And that's about the only thing I can think about with uh, with the info on money. Yeah, just bring, bring whatever you want to bring over, but the ATMs and the banks work here. Sometimes it can get a little bit tricky if you go in a bank. I've heard some stories where Sometimes I've heard it could be tricky if you try to get an advance from the bank. The ATMs have always worked for me. Oh, before I forget, make sure you contact your credit cards and your ATM bank cards and let them know that you're traveling so you don't get that block when you're over here. So call the banks, bring over a little bit of cash, get a little bit of cash at the airport, terrible exchange right there, get in the cab, go where you're gonna go or a train. Once you're there, find uh, the super rich or the exchange or the bank convert little bits at a time the ATMs you can pull out 10 you can pull out any amount I think up to most of them go up to 30,000 baht now in a one transaction but I think that's only once a day I've never had to pull out more than that ever never tried to pull out more than that ever the one last note that I'd like to say on this video is I'm gonna make a whole nother video about it but I get a lot of messages saying Rob you've convinced me to move to Thailand Please do not move over here because you saw my videos. Please come over here, hang out for a couple of months and see if it's your cup of tea. I know a lot of my friends tell me that they would like to come over here, but I know for a fact they probably wouldn't like the conditions once they were here. I'm not really sure, I'm just saying. And um, so I'm glad I could convince you to at least check out Thailand because Honestly, I love Thailand. I flippin' love this place. I just do. It started raining again, so he's got to cover the ice. So if you like this video and the information involved with it, I hope you did. Give it a nice little thumbs up and subscribe. And next time we'll talk about how to secure... Um, an, uh, um, we'll talk about something. Can you take this asshole back to America again, please? <laughs>